Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is our seventh session related to Python and we'll continue the same topic that is chapter three uh, data structure for us. So let's open uh, Python ideally. And today we will start how to remove an element from a list. Okay. So let me first of all define a list and a tuple. So I have declared a list here. And now I am declaring a tuple. Okay, so to remove an element from a list, we are going to use a remove function. So if you mention a dot remove, suppose we want to remove uh, six. Okay, so you need to mention a dot remove six, hit enter. And now if you print a, the element six should not be there in the list. Okay, so you can see we have removed the six. Now, whether this function is, uh, is going to work for tuple, no, it will not work for tuple because tuple is non-mutable. So you can try by mention p.remove. Suppose we want to remove 678. And if you hit enter, you will get an error. Tuple object has no attribute remove. So this function, this remove function, will not work for tuple as because tuple is non-mutable. Now we will see how to reverse the element in the list. For this, we are going to use a reverse function. So if you mention a dot reverse and now if you print a so the element of the list will get reversed. Okay. So initially it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but after we use this reverse function it becomes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whether it will uh, work for tuple as well it will not work for tuple because again uh, tuple is non-mutable. So you can try by mentioning b dot reverse okay so you will get this error message now we will see how to short the list in ascending order for that we are going to use short function so if we mention a dot short and hit enter, print A. So the elements of the leads got shorted from ascending to descending order. So initially it was 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whether it will work for tuple? No, it will not work for tuple. You can check by mentioning B dot short. Okay, you will get the error message. Now, to short the list in descending order. To short the list in descending order, what we are going to use, we will write a dot short, and then in the bracket, we are going to write reverse equals to true. Okay, if you hit enter, Okay, sorry. A dot short reverse equals to true. If you now hit enter and print A, the element of the list got shorted from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is descending to ascending order. Whether it will work for tuple, it will not work for tuple. You can try by mentioning B dot short reverse equals to true. Okay, you will get this error message. In our last session, we have discussed about append function and how we can use that function 
to add new element in the list. Similar to that, today we are going to discuss on another function, insert function, which we can use. This function we can use to add a new element in the list with a particular index number. Okay. So suppose this is the list that we have already declared, right? So I am just printing the value of A. And as of now, the value of A is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the index of 5 is 0. Index of 4 is 1. For 3 is 2. For 2 is 3. And for 1 is 4. Okay. Now in the index 0, instead of 5, I want to insert one another element. So I will write a dot insert 0. 0 is nothing but the index position where I uh, want to insert this new element, comma, and 500. 500 is the element which I want to insert. Now, if I hit enter and print A, it should come as 500, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. So we have inserted a new element 500 at index position 0 in a predefined list. So that is the end of our today's class. In our next session also, we are going to continue the same chapter. That is chapter 3, data structure for us. And in the next session, we are going to learn uh, a new topic, which is dictionary. Till then, happy learning and see you in the next session.